Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga. Quit screwing around and start. I Everyone, here's hoping you guys all have a safe and productive new year. But then again, some of you will be my responsibility for only three more months. Oh. I wonder who that could be. Uh, ma'am, you don't mean me. I can stay, right? I believe in that it feels like a new year thing. There's definitely something in the air. Yeah, but then school starts up and you get into a weird mood. It kind of sucks. There's a weird sort of something working its power over the holiday. You got that right. Because even though I spent my first three days of the year working my butt off for my family, I gained weight! That's the magic of the new year. You know, it's harder to burn calories when it's cold out. It's not like I was sitting around. I mean, I was busy doing all my Shrine Maiden stuff. I bet you were busy eating, too. Shrine Maiden New Year's food, Shrine Maiden Zoni soup, Shrine Maiden snacks, 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 Shrine Maiden snacks! <laughs> But then there's the games you're supposed to play over New Year's. You know, stuff like Battle Door, Hyakuni Nishu, and Kite Flying. But I never saw anybody play that stuff over the holiday. Well, nowadays, with all the power lines and traffic, mm. flying kites can be pretty dangerous. I was pretty busy for the first three days of the New Year. But after that, I just read books and watched TV. Actually, that's what I did over the break. I played Battle Door, Hyakuni Nishu, and Fortune Smile. Wow, I didn't think you'd be into that. My family tends to be Western in their ways, but our country relatives are much more traditional. I wore my kimono to the shrine on New Year's Eve, and I had a lot of fun playing games with my cousins. Even when the gods held sway and the... She's way more Japanese than me. She's more traditional than us. What is Fortune Smile? Hey, are all of the 100 poems in Hyakunin Ishu Waka poems? Yes, the first verse is read, and then you have to find the card with the second verse. I bet you're awesome at it. Oh, no, I'm not as good as some players. The really good ones can grab the correct card in a blink of an eye. Yeah, well, with me. I sort of prefer playing the kinds of games that don't make you feel like you're really studying. You know, your attitude is the reason why the future of Japan is in the toilet. I know, we could have battles with the Hyakuni Nishu cards. You could summon the power of the monk Semimaru. Semimaru's shiny bright attack versus Onono Komachi's lovely attack. Now that sounds like fun. Going there again, huh? If you played a game like that, Kagami, one that made you move around, you'd be able to lose some weight. Shut up, you! It's those damn rice cakes. It's true, rice cakes are high in calories. If you have a piece the size of a matchbox, it's basically the same calories as a small bowl of rice. That means each bite you take is like a super huge bowl of rice! Hold it! Don't you eat rice cakes? Yeah, you know, I grew up without a mom, so I never really had stuff like Zoni soup to eat. I don't really eat rice cakes all that much anyway. Wow, you don't know what you're missing! There are lots of ways to eat rice cakes. Zoni soup, shiruko soup, soy flour mochi. And it sounds like those rice cakes are gonna screw up your diet again next year, Kagami. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me asking, Izumi-san, huh? but instead of rice cakes, what does your family eat for New Year's? We eat stuff like pizza and pasta. Oh. Our family's New Year always begins with fresh pasta. At the end of every year, my dad goes and cleans out the pasta machine. I bet you guys didn't know that if you don't use it for a while, it gets all rusty. And if you use it without cleaning it first, your pasta comes out all black and stuff. 
So me and Dad clean it up, and then we make some fresh pasta and bake up some handmade pizza dough. Ooh, that does sound authentic. Unlike Kagami's house, where the pizza's delivered and the pasta's the dried stuff. <sighs> Yeah, actually, we don't eat pizza or pasta for New Year's. No way! It doesn't work with a traditional meal. It does work! It goes great with roasted chicken! Is that traditional? Yeah, it's traditional. I think that's more westernized. No way! Really? So, Miyuki-san, what food did you and your family eat for New Year's? You want to know what we ate? You're a rich girl, and your family's more into Western customs. I can't see you eating rice cakes and traditional New Year's food. I bet you ate a full course of French cuisine on New Year's Day. Oh, well, that's not exactly true. I did eat traditional Japanese food on New Year's. In fact, when I took a bite of rice cake, I couldn't bite through, and it stretched way out. <laughs> She's a walking shrine to Moe. Rice cakes are stretchy. I can't believe how fast the New Year's vacation goes by. I know, winter vacation ends too fast. Sure, it looks long on paper, but after doing the big house cleaning, writing all those New Year's cards, and doing homework, it doesn't leave you with a whole lot of relaxing yeah. time. Wow! I didn't get a New Year's card from you, and you copied my homework yesterday! <laughs> Did you have your first dream of the year, Kona Chan? Huh? Oh, right. You're supposed to have good luck if you dream of certain things. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, usually they say it's one, Mount Fuji, two, Hawk, and three, Eggplant. I heard that they've extended the items on that list to four, a fan, five, tobacco, and six, a blind musician. Wow. The list goes up to six now. Yeah, you know, does anybody really dream about that stuff? I mean, tobacco, eggplant, a blind musician? Tell me about it. Do you have to see all those things in the same dream or something? I suppose if you saw them all in one dream, you'd have tremendous good fortune. However, you only need to see one. Oh, I thought you needed to see something like two hawks or three eggplants in a dream. Hate to be the one to say huh? this, but I don't remember most of my dreams. I think people who obsess over stuff like that are having way too much fun with the whole New Year's thing. That's true. In my first dream of the year, when I opened my shoe locker, my shoes were missing. Imagine! But someone else's shoes were there, and since I needed to go home, I tried to put them on. Unfortunately, the shoes were the wrong size. Hmm. Later, I looked up the meaning of my dream in the Dictionary of Dreams and Fortune Telling. A dream is a subliminal message, and according to the dictionary, I'm seeking social skills, and it will be a long time before I can attain them. Apparently, whenever you see shoes in dreams, it's supposed to mean social status. Shoes are social? Uh-huh. So you're ambitious, Miyuki-san. I kind of get it, but sort of don't. <laughs> mm. Did you guys hear what happened at this year's coming-of-age ceremony? A bunch of people rushed the stage and started causing trouble. Don't they have any shame? I mean, they're supposed to be <laughs> representing Japan. Why bother going if you're just gonna get kicked off? That's what I'm saying. The coming-of-age ceremony's so boring, I don't wanna go, do you? She's on her way to becoming a good-for-nothing adult. So what are you guys gonna hmm? wear to the coming-of-age ceremony? Hmm, since it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, I'd wear a long sleeve kimono. Now that you brought it up, what about you? Yeah, well, knowing my dad, he's gonna want me to wear a long sleeve kimono. <laughs> he totally would, wouldn't he? Although, if you wore one, you'd look like a kid celebrating year 753. Happy New Year, and I hope it's a good one! Happy New Year to you too, Onisan. You haven't come by in a while. Well, with my hubby coming home and all the New Year stuff that needed doing, and my little sis caught a fever too, so... Yeah, she's frail, isn't she? I mean, that's not an excuse! I wasn't trying to weasel my way out of giving you all your New Year's cash or anything, really! I didn't even ask if she blows her cover. Ricky, move, officer. In other sports news today... There was a Hyakunin Ishu tournament. Oh, and that reminds me. Turnout. When you were a little kid, do you remember what kind of stuff you did on New Year's Day? Hmm? On New Year's? Let's see, I'm pretty sure I did something, I think. Yeah, like... <sighs> Sorry, brain <gasps> part! I totally forgot! Man, she lives in her own little world. I don't think I'll ever have a normal conversation with her. I blasted all the memories! me. Lucky, Lucky star. star. <laughs> you know, Tsukasa's been holed up under the Kotatsu lately. It's been cold, though. I know. The Kotatsu's awesome. But when you're under it, getting up to go to the bathroom's a drag. Yeah, right? But you don't have to say it out loud like that. My dad's got a killer line he whips out whenever I've been sitting under it for too long. Really? What does he say? Hey, Konata, if you're gonna live under that Kotatsu all day long, I'm putting it away. <laughs> so he doesn't mind not having it out? No, he loves it. He just wants to teach me a lesson is all. If we've been sitting under it for a while, we both fall asleep. Oh, I know. But I heard that if you fall asleep like that, you'll catch a cold. Yep, if I catch a sleeping, I always try to turn it off. 
Yeah, those kotatsus are like a mixture of heaven and hell. Uh, how? Because right before it goes on, and after you turn it off, it feels even colder than ever. Mm-hmm. You're right, it does, doesn't it? Isn't it hard to get out of bed when it's this cold? Yeah. Oh, and when you take a bath, and the time it takes you to get undressed and jump in the tub's awful. Makes you think twice about running bare naked. Yeah, because it's slippery. Oh, and when it's late and you need to go to the bathroom, don't you hate that? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys, we gotta get off. When you get off the bus till you get into class is hell, too. Yeah. It's almost Valentine's Day. It gets more exciting around this time of year, doesn't it? It's funny how everyone walks around acting like Valentine's is no big deal. But secretly, they're all anxious about it. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have someone special on that day? Someone to share your feelings with? I think that would be the best thing ever. Ah. <sighs> Tsukasa, you're a hopeless romantic, and I won't say it's a conspiracy invented by the candy industry. Now that you mention it, this time of year is special for someone like me, too. Well, why? Because the leftover chocolates always go on sale afterwards, so I can buy a lot for cheap to make my own. You really have no dreams at all, do you now? They say money can't buy you love! But when you think about it, Valentine's Day chocolates are a way to show your love, and you buy it with money. That's a cold observation, considering the only romance you've had has been in games. Yeah, well, in games, the whole idea is to get your relationship level up. That's way more important than the actual day. Okay. Yeah, well, Valentine's Day's just another day to me. It's only an excuse for the boys to get all weird. Guess no one triggered the Kagami flag again this year. Oh, yeah? You got anything going on? All kinds of people love me. In your game, yeah, we got it. You know, I worry about you with all your talk of relationship levels and flags and stuff. Don't you feel like you're sort of missing out if all you do is limit yourself to the world in your games? <clears throat> I really hate it when people talk about stuff they don't know anything about. Huh. You saying I'm wrong? In game time, events happen pretty fast, so when you're playing and you come across Valentine's Day, it's usually over before you know it. So what? This year's Valentine's Day is different. I want to give some chocolate to someone. You're kidding, really? Mm-hmm. It's someone who's playing the same online game as me. One of your gaming buddies? <laughs> You're gonna hand it to him in person? Mm -mm. We're not gonna be seeing each other in person, person. Huh? It's all gonna happen in-game. I mean, we're both human behind our characters, so what's the difference? But does that even count? In the end, it's just a character in a game. Hey, don't insult my wife like that! Huh? Wife? Mm. In the game, I play a male character, and I'm married to her. Uh, whoa, in the game, the guy's giving the girl chocolate, but you're really a girl, so that means you'll be giving another girl chocolate? Because the other person's a girl, right? On the contrary, my wife's a guy in real life. Yeah. Huh? Whatever. As long as everyone's cool and having fun, it's all good. That's right. I think I want to go overseas. Wow, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? Well, yesterday, Miyuki-san told me... <laughs> women giving chocolates to men on February the 14th is a tradition that's exclusive only to Japan. In Western countries, people give candies and cards to friends and loved ones, regardless of their gender. Really? That's exactly what she said. So that means even a girl like me can get a whole bunch of candy. That's mm. one way of looking at it, provided you're as popular as you think and not just overconfident. Oh, it's okay, because in other countries, small girls... Oh, stop! Let's keep it G-rated, okay? Uh, Red! Huh? Happy Valentine's Day, Kona-chan! This is for you! Whoa! Awesome wrapping! For a uniform. And the inside's all heart-shaped and everything! I put a lot of work into it. <laughs> Tsukasa gets pretty elaborate with stuff like that. She was up all night making those, and they're only friendship chocolates. <laughs> Even if these are friendship chocolates, don't give them out to boys. They'll get the wrong idea. Huh? What? Huh? For you. Enjoy. Kagami, you're giving me chocolate? I only made him because she was making some too. Don't be such a spaz. <sighs> the fact that you worked so hard on making this even though you suck at cooking totally turns me on, Kagami. Did you know oh, that? Shut up and put it away! Huh? Kagami... <laughs> Here, I made this for you. Don't get the wrong idea. It's friendship chocolate. Friendship, got it? I'm sorry if they look all weird and everything. Don't be a fool. I don't care if they look funny. The important thing's that you made it for me, Kagami. Well, don't be stupid. It's nothing like that. Really, it isn't. Is that what's going on? No, so shut up and put it away. It's my first time. First time's the best. Hey, Miyuki-san, did you give chocolate to anyone? I gave some to my father and also to a male relative. And I gave chocolates to pretty much everybody who's friendly to me. And I gave some to you, Tsukasa, and Miyuki. Come on, did everyone have the boringest Valentine's Day or what? You live in an online game, so zip it. 
You said your cousin was applying to Rio. -o. What happened with that? She got accepted. And since she lives so far away, she's gonna stay at my place starting next month. She's always been like a little sister, and we've been talking a lot about her moving in. That's awesome! But compared to you, isn't it gonna be hard to tell which of you is the little sister? You don't get it. When I huh? say she's little, she's little. Like, way little. She's that small? The fact she got accepted without any hitches must mean she's super smart. Well, someone's sounding confident today. The school accepted you, didn't it? Yeah, but I barely made it. It still counts, though. I just remembered we have to take our college entrance exams next year. Oh, brother, we're gonna be studying forever. That's gonna be nasty. Oh, no. Should I take the exams? I don't have any plans for the future. You really need to start thinking about your future. Hmm. Academic and labor are words that just don't exist in my vocabulary. I wonder what someone like her could do for a living. She could design games, because that's her hobby anyway. She could make her own manga and sell it at Comiket. She's naturally curious, so she could be a reporter. No, maybe she becomes a writer who writes for a specific genre. She's good with computers, maybe a web designer. Or a screenwriter who writes about random things that don't have a plot. Or she goes to college. Or maybe it's all the same damn thing! What? <clears throat> What's up? She's here! Boss, it's really her! The legendary girl! Hey! <laughs> what? We let her get away from us last time. Boss! 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 But not today! We'll do everything in our power to make sure that the legendary girl A gets to the cash register! You know, she's having a hard time deciding. <laughs> then it's up to us to make her purchasing decisions for her! All right, people, you ready? Yeah! Say what? Yeah! Say what? Yeah! yeah. Say what? Yeah, yeah you, you know, know it! it. I have a visual, boss. I'm gonna try to figure out what the legendary girl A is looking for. I'm counting on you. What's the newest manga? It's Sergeant Frog, volume 14, sir! Perfect! Make sure you display them in the legendary girl A's line of sight! Mm. Deploy the flyers! <laughs> Locked and loaded, sir! Good. Keep an eye on her movements. Make sure our best sellers are flanking the legendary girl A as she approaches the register! Roger! The legendary girl A is not looking for manga. Repeat, not looking for manga! What? Boss, she's headed for the DVD section. Fantastic. I want blockades up on both sides of the aisle. We're gonna funnel the legendary girl A straight into new releases. Roger, sir. Oops, sorry, am I in your way? Come on. That a girl. <laughs> Boss! Finally! We got her! She's gonna buy something! I did it! I won! I beat her! We're gonna party like rock stars tonight, you hear me? Hey, hey. She banked us out! <laughs> This calls for my secret weapon! <laughs> Bring me that ultra-rare out-of-print bargain bin DVD, girl. Boss, she's headed straight for you. Yes, that's it. This is so beautiful, I never want this scene to end. The entire US of A inside me is all cheering and applauding! Yay for us! Yay, sir! 1,785 yen, please. <laughs> Darn it, I'm short three yen. <laughs> oh well, could you guys put it back for me? Thanks. Wild <laughs> <laughs> again! Lucky star. Bet you did, uh-huh. 
Nice to see you again. I'm Minoru Shiraishi, Akira-sama's faithful assistant. Isn't this great? We're on our 13th episode, and that means we're in our second season. In fact, getting this far is a lot like reaching the halfway station on Mount Fuji. Isn't that right, Akira-sama? Huh? You can get to the halfway station by car, you idiot. Well, of course you can. I was just saying. Oh, that's right. This one time I climbed to the top of Mount Takao. What are you, blind? Aren't you going to say anything? Right. <laughs> <laughs> drill. Oh, my, Akira. Some of those twin drills you're sporting are really cool. What's so cool about them, Slackjaw? Well, they're all wound up like a couple of seashells. <laughs> Oh, Duh. my God. Duh. Oh, that's right. Duh. Today we're announcing the results of our very own Lucky Star Action Figure Project. Akira-sama, if you'd be so kind as to announce the winner. <sighs> Konata Izumi gets her very own action Akira figure. Akira-sama, read it properly. Do. Congratulations! Woohoo! <sighs> was there any doubt she'd win? This thing was rigged from the beginning. Akira -sama, so basically, the don't. radio show and the LC aren't important, is that it? Oh, sure, it's all about the main segment. You got it all wrong. We're important, aren't we? Mm-hmm. You see? The producer says we're important. There it is! Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm used to getting bent over all the time anyway, so I don't really care anymore. Bent over is not a very nice way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're all torn up about it. And next you're gonna tell me that they made an action figure out of you. Isn't that right? No, of course not! God forbid! Any crap, Konata Izumi gets her very own action figure, and as a booby prize, Minoru Shiraishi gets one, too. You gotta be freaking kidding! <laughs> not good. Oh, it looks like our time's up for today. Keep sending us your comments, questions, and any good things you might have to say about the show. You can use our homepage if you want, or you can send your letters the old-fashioned way. Right? Akira-sama? I'm what going. The... Whoa, wait a second! But bye Akira-sama, wait up! Okay, people, listen up. D drill <laughs> わわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわ